well it's certainly not been the easiest of um months to close on quarantine's still going on so although there's back and forth rumors that it's gonna end real soon fingers crossed hope because everyone's getting bored um those that have been able to find things to do are now getting bored of doing the same thing millions of times i've been doing cross stitching i've been doing my jigsaw puzzles which is why we're doing this video today we're going to read the last two chapters of mystery in india um and then next week i'm going to show you how far i've gone with the um puzzle as it is we're not going to read the answer until we finish the puzzle uh which is interesting because the puzzle has been incredibly incredibly hard i now understand there was a quote that i remember from midsummer murders many years ago um when he was solving a mystery he actually said it's like a blank jigsaw puzzle you find some of the pieces but not even the start of a picture um luckily i've collected enough pieces that i've now got a picture the picture just doesn't make any sense um and also the other problem is is i don't actually know how big or how wide the picture is um which is becoming quite interesting when it comes to table measurement because um you might see when I show you the puzzle next week there might be a case where I'll have to reverse it I think I've just about worked out what some of the pieces are but um, no there's still uh, quite a lot that needs to be done if I show you the remainder of the pieces there's about a thousand pieces in here and that if I don't lose any is how many pieces we've got left um, of which, which very few of them are, are edges, which is one benefit. Um, but as you can see, there's still so much that we've still got to do. Um, and every time I think I've cracked it, um, a lot of the pieces, there was a time when I was doing um, the pieces and they just look so similar. It's like um, I had to do the same bit of the puzzle about three times before I got all of it. And I'm still not convinced I got it right. So it's it's been a hard puzzle, but um, uh, I'm kind of stuck between I've got nothing better to do and there's, you know, in, all in all, the puzzle's very, very interesting. Um, just got to see if I can complete it or whether I can work out the clues without completing it. Um, so it's still early stages at this very moment, but hopefully uh, by next week we should have it. But for now, we've got two pages left. There's eight pages inside the book, the actual booklet, um, and we're down on page six, I think. I think we ended on page six. Um, I'm not going to read page six. Um, so we'd arrived. We were on the tour and there's been a disturbance already at the hotel uh, with a man who claimed that um, the supposed victim um, broke his heart, which seems to be a, um, a general thing. Um, and uh, a dagger has disappeared. So we'll see if uh, pages seven and eight um, shed some light. So without further ado, um, Let's go back to uh, India and see if we can get more clues to the mystery. So have your pen and pad read, ready and let's see if we can solve this. <clears throat> Max decided to take some photographs while Simon sat down and started making entries into his diary about the day's events. I'll just pop back to the car and fetch my shawl said Mrs P Preston to her husband. Wait here for me. She returned, clutching her, her shawl. Where's Annabella? she asked. Uh, she went off exploring one of the temples, replied her husband. Walking through the streets of the deserted city was tiring, and it was not long before Jane sat down in the doorway of a house. You carry on, she said to her husband. I'll just rest here a while. Will you be all right? Will you be 
all right on your own? inquired the colonel. Yes, of course, I'll be fine. An eerie silence hung over the city as the colonel walked away. Occasionally, the shrill sound of a crow could be heard high above the rooftops. The colonel walked towards the centre of the city and spent some time trying out his new camera before deciding to return to the spot where he had left his wife. As he walked towards the house, he heard muffled voices, followed by a surprised scream. Seconds later, a man's voice shouted, Annabelle! Annabella! Breaking into a run, the colonel arrived at the scene to find Max Billington standing in the doorway with a gun in his hand. Max entered the house first and was confronted by Jean-Paul, who was also armed. The Frenchman turned to look at Max and as he did so, he pointed the barrel of his gun at him. Quick, of a, quick as a flash, Max took aim and shot Jean-Paul through the heart. My goodness, you've killed him, the colonel gasped. I had no choice, Max replied. It was him or me. Both men then t turned to look at the body of a woman lying on the ground a few feet away from where Jean-Paul had fallen. It was Annabella Denvers. Her violet eyes gazed up at the ceiling with a lifeless stare. Her diamond earrings were missing. The colonel looked around for Jane, but she was nowhere to be seen. He knelt down and with tears in his eyes, he said a prayer. When he got up and turned to leave, he saw Jane standing in the doorway. Her face was frozen in a vacant expression. There was a red mark on her cheek. Her shawl was draped around her shoulders. He took her arm and led her out into the street. That's when the colonel began to realise that she was in a state of total shock. Soon the other members of the group were with them and they decided to take the two bodies back to Agra. It was highly irregular. By the way, if I say any of these Indian places wrong, Please do comment below. I'll, I'll accept. I, I've never been to India, so I have no idea any, what any of these places are or how they're pronounced. <clears throat> it was highly irregular, but anything could have happened to them if they had been left in Fatapa Sikri. Sikri. When they got back to the hotel, they called the police. It was discovered that Annabella had died from a fatal wound to her head probably caused either by a blunt instrument or a stone. Everything pointed to the fact that Jean-Paul had killed her. The colonel had witnessed Max Billington shooting Jean-Paul in self-defence and, after some deliberation, the police accepted that this was indeed what had happened. The whole business affected Mrs Preston very badly and she remained a virt virtual recluse until she decided to return to England on her own. Emily turned to David as the colonel took a key from his pocket. Took a key. Emily turned to David as the colonel took a key from his pocket and handed it to her. This will unlock a safety deposit box at my bank in Delhi. Go there tomorrow and bring the contents back here. I want to see if you can solve the mystery of Annabella Denver's unfortunate death so long ago, he said. And that's where it ends. Now we have the solution, but as I said, I will not read the solution until I have finished the puzzle because I like to play by the rules. Well, actually, no, I don't. But on this particular occasion, I want to play by the rules. And I have to use a mirror, which I don't have at me at this very, very present. Regarding the puzzle, we're about 70, 80%, uh, nope, 60-70% uh, done with it. As I've shown you, there's still a lot of pieces left. Um, but it is a thousand piece puzzle. Um, uh, of which it's 23 across, 29 down. So we don't. I don't actually know how long the puzzle is, to be perfectly honest. Um, and whether my table's going to manage it. It might turn out I need a new table. Um... At the moment, I've got one part of the puzzle in one piece and one part of the puzzle um, in another piece, um, which I'm, I will give you a sneak peek on at some point. 
but it's been very in, uh, the puzzle's been very interesting a lot of it is quite clear a lot of it is kind of what is this this is very very strange and weird but this is the a case with a lot of mystery puzzles where a lot of puzzles you have the picture before you so you can sort of look at a piece and then look at the picture and some kind of sort of work out where it is but with um with a mystery puzzle uh you don't have a picture um you have to rely on the clues um certainly from the clues i think there's certainly possibly a dagger i mean i'm looking at the puzzle now um and there's what it looks like a dagger and there's certainly a picture which is mentioned in the wallet if you remember rightly um and then there's a couple of other things as well there's a ticket there's sort of like a a ticket as well i'll go through this again when i show you how far i've got um so far but it's turning out to be quite an interesting um little puzzle i have no clue um who murdered uh annabella greaves uh annabella denvers beg your pardon um i'm not even a hundred percent sure it is a murder to be perfectly honest um uh, judging by the fact that what i've seen of the dagger is completely clean now i'm no expert on forensics you may have noticed but um i would have thought there would have been a little bit of a stain when there's any sign of blood uh saying that she wasn't stabbed so that might be part of the reason why not and from the puzzle that i've made so far there doesn't appear to be a stone or anything that anything blunt that could have been hit um, which is kind of confusing me in a way, but um, you know, there's other there's other little bits in there as well that doesn't make um, a blind bit of sense. But we'll have to see as we um, continue to do the puzzle um, how it goes. It could just simply be that I'm just looking at the puzzle completely wrong. I've done that before in the past with puzzles. Um, the only puzzle I've been able to um, well, I've been able to complete quite a lot of puzzles to be honest, but. The puzzle that I've been able to complete that I've done on my video is, of course, the um, Fantastic Beasts one, which I absolutely love. I love Fantastic Beasts, as you may have noticed from my unboxings. Um, so we'll have to see uh, how far it goes. There's a part of me that hopes that the pieces that are in the box, because um, I got this puzzle from a charity shop, and I've already found one piece that is suspiciously similar to another piece. Um, so there might be the occasional duplicate um, in there but that hasn't spoilt the puzzle in any way shape or form if anything it probably means it's a piece missing um, so we'll have to see as we go along um, how we progress so next week I'll show you how far I've got with the puzzle um, I need to tidy up the table as well because it's got a bit of bits of food and stuff it's practically become our the table decorations that long um but we'll see how far we go with it regarding future channels i'll give you a quick update um there's at least two unboxings that's going to happen probably tomorrow um i was expecting them today but they um, only one parcel showed up and it was a parcel that's very important to work um which again i'll do an update on another video later um because it's getting late and i'm pretty tired and i've got work and I, i've got work tomorrow so it's been an interesting um stay settlement to everything that's going on it's just been so tiring i've i've literally had no thoughts to myself i've had no um breaks to myself because i've just literally been I've lost all motivation to do absolutely anything around the house. It's literally been, uh, I'm going to wake up, do this, that and the other, and then go back to sleep. That is how bad my motivation has got. I'm hoping that will break real soon. Um, because I don't particularly like sleeping 24-7. But um, we're just going to have to see um, as we go along on how it goes and whether we can finish the puzzle or not which I hope we do so I'm going to leave you there for now uh, on that cliffhanger ironically and um, we'll see how the puzzle goes tomorrow by the way apologies for the um, quality I had my Wookiee up in the window 
looking out of it. Um, but by the time I thought of doing a video that day, it had gone dark and I couldn't be asked to turn the light on because I was getting ready for bed. So um, this is what I mean by lack of motivation um, to do anything. And I think part of YouTube is you've got to be motivated to do something. And I have just been so tired throughout it. I'm either fast asleep in bed or I can't be bothered to do anything, um, which is affecting my mental health badly. Um, not helped by the fact that work has got very stressful recently. Um, so we'll have to see how we go as the day goes on. Um, so hopefully see you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you next week at some point. Um, so the only thing I'm going to say right now is um, stay safe. See if you can solve the puzzle before I can, because I guarantee you this puzzle is going to take a while. And uh, I'll see you real, real soon. Ciao for now.